Hi Sagittarius, it's Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and this is going to be a reading for you for the month of March. I didn't, um, I haven't gotten out a monthly reading for Sagittarius yet so this will be your monthly reading for March and then we will have um, weekly updates every week thereafter. Um, I'm going to try to get them out on between Sunday night and Tuesday morning for each and every week um, from this point forward. We're going to do one big monthly reading and then a weekly update from that point forward. So, uh, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. And uh, at the end of this reading, I'm going to give a spiel. So if you'd like to stick around for that, you're more than welcome. And if not, that's perfectly okay, too. Well, Saggy, you open up this reading putting an end to something that was a very big burden in your life. The Nine of Cups, yes, it's about wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. But on the flip side, it's about dissatisfaction. So with the Ten of Swords, you're ending something. With the Ten of Wands, it was a burden. With the Nine of Cups, there's dissatisfaction. And with the Five of Pentacles, you're leaving somebody out in the cold. The Princess of Swords right here comes in and talks to us about formulating a thought pattern, formulating a plan about the Five of Cups, about how to move on from disappointment and despair, right? Five of Swords comes in. Now, yes, this card is about conflict, tension, loss, defeat, and betrayal. But on the flip side, it's open to change, right? Open to change. So you may have had conflict, tension, loss, defeat, and betrayal in your relationship or whatever this is that you're leaving. It's some kind of a relationship. It doesn't have to be love, but it's some kind of a relationship. And uh, Five of Cups says you're moving on, and the Five of Swords says that you're open to change. The King of Cups, you want to be in control of your feelings. You're tired of the conflict, the tension, the burden, the betrayal. The You're just tired of it all. And the King of Cups comes in and says that you want emotional balance and control, right? So with this thought pattern over here, this planning, a, a, a planning how you're going to move on, right? You're planning how you're going to move on. And the King of Cups says that you are very much um, in control of yourself and of your emotions. This was a well thought out decision. Eight of Pentacles comes in and says one of two things. You're tired of putting in the effort that, that this relationship is requiring of you. And also that uh, you're ready to just focus, right? You're ready to just focus and, and work on yourself, work on your life. And with the Empress, create abundance in your life. You're tired of the bullshit and you just want to focus on you. You want to create abundance in your life. The hangman comes in down here and says that you're pausing, right? You're swirling it around in your head. You're thinking about, about this plan that you are um, formulating to walk away from the conflict, open to change. You're formulating all of this, and you're thinking about this in the hangman energy right here. Strength card comes in and says that you are, um, you're, you're, you're gaining your strength to do what it is that you need to do followed by the Five of Wands, which talks to us about, um, yes, disagreements, strife, tension, and conflict again. But on the flip side of this card, it's about increased focus on goals. And I do believe that's what you're doing right here. You have an increased focus on your goals. You're going to work on yourself. You're going to work on your money. You're going to work on gaining mastery of your own life. You want to create abundance, right? Thinking about it. Getting, getting the strength to, to go forward, right? Five of Wands comes in <clears throat> and talks to us about an increased focus on your goals. The Princess of Wands comes in and says that you're feeling pretty excited, actually, about what's going on here. You're feeling pretty excited about the decisions that you've made, and you're just filled with a sense of enthusiasm and exploration and discovery, right? Seven of Wands comes in and tells us that you're feeling up for the challenge. You're, you're, you're definitely up for the challenge. This is a card about, um, this is a card about challenge, 
competition, perseverance, feeling guarded. But it's also a card about about being up for the fight, right? Being 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 down for for what it is that's going to go down, right? Here is the execution of this decision, this this decision that you made up there, what you're gaining strength for here in the hangman. Prince of Swords is action oriented communication. You are about to put out some action oriented communication in regards to the Two of Cups, in regards to a relationship, okay? A relationship where there is imbalance. King of Swords, there you are, executing, executing like a boss, right? This is a card about clear thinking intellectual power and authority in your truth seven of swords what are you cutting out of your life here the seven of swords you're cutting out shady behavior you're cutting out shady behavior and you're breaking free from it with the queen of swords absolutely the king of swords and the queen of swords with the seven of swords sandwiched between it you are done with this situation done with it. The Hierophant comes in and says that this was some kind of a, of a commitment in your life that you are cutting out, completely cutting out this particular commitment. The Queen of Wands says that you are determined to be successful, absolutely determined to be successful. Um, you may be dealing with a fire energy doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You all, you all know I don't like the signs in, in a reading, right? A real tarot card reading doesn't focus around the signs, right? It, it just doesn't. But just saying that because the Queen of Wands is on top of the Hierophant right there. So you may or may not be dealing with a fire sign. Either way, you're extremely determined to pull this off, right? Extremely determined to pull this off. This is a tower moment for you. This is sudden change, a revelation, an awakening, an epiphany moment in your life. It's not a flippant decision, though. It's something that you've thought about for a good, hard minute, and you're good with it. You're good with it. Death, an ending, and a change in your life. You are ending this toxic relationship. Because you want to be happy. You're seeing things clearly now, maybe for the first time. And you just want to be happy. Two of Swords comes in and talks to us about choices. Choices that you're making. Dealing with some blocked emotions. And basically just calling a truce to the situation. You're tired of fighting throwing up the white flag, calling a truce, leaving somebody out in the cold, moving on with the Five of Pentacles, right? Ace of Cups comes in and, and says, this is a card about emotion, right? It's about emotion, and you're feeling really good about the direction that your life is headed. Princess of Cups, this is a messenger of creative new beginnings in your life the four of cups because you've contemplated and reevaluated the state of of your life and you're not putting up with this anymore you're not life is too short to be filled with misery and you're not putting up with it anymore four of swords you can rest and recuperate now that you have cut this off and executed this decision you can rest and recuperate and you can focus on your pentacles, you can focus on your future, you can focus on building a foundation for yourself. The Emperor, authority, control, establishment, and structure in your life. With the Nine of Wands, feeling really, really strong about what's about to shake down. Feeling really strong about the decision that you made. It goes right along with the Seven of Wands, right? Fight mode, feeling strong ready to do whatever it is that you need to do to get out of conflict and betrayal and deception and shady behavior in your life. 
right? There you go. Sag, that is your reading, and I do hope that it resonated, and if it didn't, that's okay. It's just not for you, but it's for this particular Sagittarius that I am connecting with. If this is where we part ways, my friend, namaste. All right, the spiel. It's super important, I think, <clears throat> it's super important to know at least the three, the most important three major elements in your chart. Your sun sign, today, Sagittarius. This is how you receive information from the world, right? Your moon sign is how you feel about things, right? The moon is re related to our gravitational force, the tides, the ebb and flow of life, right? And it's about how we feel. So you receive information from the personality characteristics of a Sagittarius. You process it with your moon sign, and then you put it back out into the world with your ascending sign. So to get the most out of free YouTube tarot card readings, you should watch, you should cross watch for yourself or for your person if you're watching for somebody else, those three elements, your rising sign, your moon sign, and your sun sign. It will help you to fill in the gaps and give you a more complete and comprehensive understanding of the events that are unfolding in these tarot card readings pertaining to your life. It's also important to know those three signs about the people that are in your life, right? Because if you know how somebody receives communication, if you understand how they process it, and if you understand how it comes back out again, it gives you the edge in your relationships. And I don't mean that from a manipulative perspective, but it gives you an edge in your relationships so you can understand how to communicate with the people that are important in your life and understand how they're going to receive your communications and kind of sort of how to expect them to respond to your communications, right? So anyway, I just wanted to, to go over that again because a lot of people don't understand that. There's a link in the box below. It'll take you to a website, um, free, unaffiliated website, where you can um, process your natal chart and find out what these signs mean to you and those that you love. And uh, the first chart is your natal chart, and it will give you all that information. And then there's a bunch of astrological stuff that I don't even understand because I'm not an astrologer. But if you scroll down past that stuff, it will give you a brief synopsis of every personality characteristic related to you or the people that you're, that you're putting through the system there, right? It will help you to understand not only yourself, but those that you deal with, okay? There you go, Sagittarius. Um, namaste, my friends.